G'day guys, Troy K from K Brothers Pythons here. You guys ever seen a bearded dragon get its teeth cleaned? Neither have we. We're down here with Dr. Josh and let's go check this out. This is going to be different. <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for the support for the first app that we put up with with our good mate dr josh we're back again with the bearded dragon which is a, a past patient of yours i believe yeah we saw this one uh, about a year ago uh, for some uh, eye issues so i don't know if you can see it at the moment but we've got quite a bit of discharge coming from the eyes uh, we treated it with antibiotics uh, it, it pretty much didn't go away with that right. uh, on further exam we've actually noticed that we do have quite a lot of buildup on our teeth. Uh, very common that we see in a lot of pet animals, uh, just because they're not in the wild eating their sort of normal diet. We get a lot of buildup of uh, calculus on the teeth, and that can lead to a lot of inflammation in the mouth, and sometimes even into the sinuses. Uh, so we're hoping that if we can go in there today and uh, clean up those teeth, it's going to actually help help with the eyes as well. But we're also going to have a good look at the eyes when we're under the anesthetic. All right, guys, hope you've got all that. Let's go watch this guy do his stuff. So this little dragon is, is having a dental procedure done today so that we can clean up all of this uh, plaque and tartar that's built up on the bottom of these teeth, uh, which is common as they get older. Uh, you can see some of that lifting off right there. So we'll, we'll scale all of that off and then we'll polish it up afterwards to make sure that uh, we stop getting all this gingivitis, which you can see in the front of the jaw as well as, as some of it on the side as well. really obvious over there. When you say, say good diet, are there different diets at different ages? Or should they start them off at a certain diet? That's right. So as they get older, they're going to be on a, on a majority uh, vegetarian diet. So dark leafy green vegetables. And I'm just going to stop for a moment so you can see the difference in where I've scaled and where I haven't. So you can see the difference in the white teeth there. Very quick procedure. Yeah, so if you look here, so this area right over here, I've just scaled. Nope. And this area here, I haven't. This side. Nah, we'll just leave it for the moment. It's just see that there. Yeah. Okay. And what's going to happen is underneath all of that buildup, there's going to be gingivitis. So will the gingivitis need a treatment? Nope, now that we got rid of this, because that's where the bacteria is. This is what causes the gingivitis? Yes, right? that's right. So what are the early signs of it? Um, yeah, unless you look, you're probably not going to see too many. So um, I, a lot of them will, well, you can develop bone abscesses in the jaw. Uh, obviously, that'd be a very extreme case. Just for that. In a perfect world, how often would someone check inside their beard? beard I would beard? say once a month. Once a month? Yep, just look inside, see what they look like. I think it should be part of every reptile keeper's uh, repertoire is, is getting a, uh, a good exam inside the mouth, uh, that, whether that be a turtle or snake or lizard. Um, and so there are some good tools out at the moment that can help you do that. Uh, you might have seen the one I was using previously. So they make those ones especially for turtles as well.
Alright mate, so you've gone through, you've finished, uh, you've finished the procedure, the teeth are staying white, nearly as pretty as yours. What's, uh, what's the game here, Mark? Prevention's always, always best. Yeah. But now that there's, there was a little problem, that's been, is that fixed now or is it after? It, yeah, it is fixed at the moment and, and this is going to be a year's worth of build up. Um, so what we've done today is, uh, under a general anaesthetic, we, we did a scale and polish. Um, so we use an ultrasonic scaler, right. uh, clean up those teeth and you'll see some before and after photos. It, it's quite staggering how much stuff built up over there. And, and the build up that we're seeing is it's basically a mixture of minerals and bacteria that get stuck onto the teeth, same as your eye. Um, so they don't brush their teeth every day, so they use their diet uh, and um, uh, to make sure that they clean their teeth properly. Uh, so diet becomes a big part of what's going on here. So we need to make sure that the diet is not full of too many sugary things. Um, I do see a lot of dragons come in with a, a lot of fruit in their diet, and the problem with that is that that sugar leads to a lot of these, these dental issues that we're seeing right now. Uh, and, that's, and that's a pure a pure problem of, of captive uh, of captive bearded dragons. So we don't see this as much in the, in the wild caught ones. Um, and again, it's probably because they get to choose their diet. They also probably don't live as long sometimes. Yeah, yeah. What about now, if someone, if they're a little bit concerned that they might have a problem, is, can they take a photo and send it through to you? If, if so, where would be the best spot to, to yeah. send it so you can get some sleep of the night? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have a look. Um, you know, I think if you can get a good photo of the inside of the mouth in these days, you know, a good camera photo is quite fine. Uh, so you can always send that over to me. Um, you can usually get me by email or get me at the clinic. Uh, and then uh, a lot of you might find me on Facebook. So I've uh, got no problem with that. Uh, just uh, shoot them through and uh, give me a bit of time to have a look. And if you don't hear from me, give me a yell. He does get busy, guys. We, um, yeah, the, we're down here a little bit these days, get more and more ready to do this. The guys always flat straight. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Dr. Josh. And we'll catch you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.